Hello, in our last video, we discussed how we can install and activate virtual environment. In this video, uh, we're going to be talking about virtual version control and starting up your projects on uh, version control and how we can go about that, right? So uh, we have our terminal open, but we are not in the virtual environment. So remember to always activate your virtual environment. And to do that, in our last video, we create a virtual environment with the name Simple Django Project. So to activate a virtual environment in a Linux OS, you use source name, by environment, and then in Activate right now we are in the virtual environment activated. So uh yeah, so we are in a virtual environment. Now, before we start off in the project, it is always advisable, as I said earlier, to start off your project and version control system. So and to do that, we have GitHub and also Git. So we go to GitHub. It's gone. That is where you create your repository, right? You create the new repository on GitHub. If you don't have an account, just sign up. You can easily sign up on GitHub, create a new repository, and then let's name our uh, repository Django or new, let's say first Django project right so first jungle project and you can put in any description this this is my first jungle project right so and um, what this public means is or uh, anyone on the internet can see this repository and if you decide you can make it private if you don't want anyone else to have access to it right so and uh, initialize this repo with add a readme file, uh, add git ignore, or choose a license. So we are only going to add git ignore because there are some files in our project that we would not want to push on later on. And we can use a template for this tutorial. We are using a Python template, right? So, and then we create the repository. And then our repository is created. Now, to clone this repository to our computer, I'll be making use of VS Code, right? So, because VS Code comes with pre-installed extensions to make cloning, committing, pushing to GitHub very easy. So, in our VS Code, I am already in the directory. Let me open up a terminal so you would see, right? So, you see here, I mean, the apps.django directory, which is the same as the terminal, but I haven't activated my virtual environment yet. So I'll just do that. Just copy this. And yeah, so we are now in the virtual environment. Now to clone that repository I created, I just come to code here and copy this URL. When I do that, I click on this button and then I go to my VS code. I go to this settings icon, command, and then I see git clone. I paste in the URL and press enter. Now I'll be asked in which uh, folder I want to store that and which is in my apps directory uh, where I already created my virtual environment, which is in apps, and then Django project. So I just click on OK, and it clones right into it. OK, so I will press OK. It opens up our project, right? So it opens up the repository yeah so see if we open up our terminal here we'll see we are in the first django app repository 
if we see the brack, we notice the our directory we had previously. And if we check directory with DFC, this is a simple project which is a virtual environment. And this is the first Django project which we've cloned. Now, before we go back into the first Django project, we have to activate our virtual environment. And to do that, we just do source, which I've already done earlier. So I would just, yeah. Copy this again and paste it. Right, so, and then we change the directory back into the first Django project, which is our repository. Yes, fair enough. Now, we notice our gate ignore here, which we initialized with our repository containing some uh, file extension and some other things we don't, we do not want to be pushed back to our repository. Now, if so how this how or uh, why this is easy right why this is very easy is because from your vs code you can push you can commit and make any changes any changes you make you'll be able to push it very easily now this is our repository and let's just create a new file right uh, test.py and impute this is a test. Okay, so let's let's make that string a variable bar. This is a test. Oh, right. So you would notice here there's an extension called our uh, git lens. So you can get that. If you don't have it installed, just go to the extension and search for git lens. Right. So once you have that installed, you will notice the changes it says test.py because we created a new file. Now to commit this, we have to push, we have to commit these changes and also give it a commit message. So let's just say we okay, created test. And then with this mark button up here, we make the commit. That's and then under the section of which is commit, you see a button up here which says push. And once you push that, click on this button, that will push our code directly to GitHub. Very straightforward. And when we check our repository here, let's refresh this. We'll see the changes we made, created this file, which is the commit message. And then if you click on this test file, you see the variable we created. So that is a straightforward way of uh, creating a repository for your Django app, right?